What's going on everyone? This is Jordan with Conquering Trading and Investing and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your charts on MetaTrader 4 so that they look the same as they do on TradingView. For those of you following along on the channel, on the live streams, when we look at the market we first look at the daily time frame and take a top-down approach. We're looking for support and resistant levels. We're looking for technical patterns to trade around. And once we find what direction we're trading in, we drop down to the eight hour time frame to go ahead and look for precise precision entries. Now, most of you like myself are placing those orders on MetaTrader 4. I'm gonna show you how to follow along on the eight hour time frame or any other time frame you like on MetaTrader 4 right now. You could see here that I have the eight hour chart set up. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a demo account so that you know how to do that as well. Now, if you go down to the description of any video and you click show more, and then you scroll down. First of all, if you haven't already joined us, do go ahead and subscribe to the channel now. We are streaming live every day at nine o'clock in the morning for the New York session, looking for trade state ups getting the pulse of the market. You can follow along, watch the replay, stay updated with us. Now, many of you know that I trade in Bitcoin as my base account. You could go ahead and look at these videos as well. If you go ahead and you find the link right here, which says you could open up a demo for FX Choice, click that link right here, register for the account, and then go ahead and click create a demo account. Okay, here's how, what you do. This works the same as a demo or a live account. I click MetaTrader 4 ECN. Okay, you wanna trade with an ECN broker and a straight through processing broker such as FX Choice who does never trade against you. Click on MetaTrader 4 Pro. Okay, do not click on MetaTrader 5. It is a later product, but it's inferior. Click the MetaTrader 4, okay? Go ahead and you could either choose US dollar or Bitcoin for your base of currency. I'm gonna show you how it works with Bitcoin. I use leverage of one to 200 here, and I'm just gonna, for this purposes, open an account with 0.2 Bitcoin, okay? So 0.2 Bitcoin, uh, this is what one Bitcoin would, like, would look like. That's a million bits, okay? So 0.2 Bitcoin is 200,000 bits, okay? Go ahead, open an account, and now you have your login information. Go ahead over to MetaTrader 4. Click lock in, log into the trade account. And then make sure you just check the server to demo. I'm switching here from, a, a, obviously, to a demo account. So here you go, you have the demo account now set up. I'm gonna show you how I go ahead and create these charts. So first thing I'm gonna do is I have two da download links in the description of this video. One is for the true trend indicator right here. I'm gonna show you that right now, how to add that to the chart. The other you're gonna need also, it's called the period converter, okay? Option, this is gonna help you be able to set the eight hour time frame charts. You can see this chart right here is updating in real time. Let's see, there it goes, it's just moving now. You see that this eight hour chart, it says offline below, but it is online updating in real time. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna first close out all these charts here so I could start from scratch with you. The first thing you wanna do is now that I've created this demo, I have all these pairs. Go ahead and click hide all. I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up your, your charts right now, and then click on symbols, all right? These are starting with the majors and go ahead and check off all the pairs that you are interested in following and trading. You can see right now I have the common ones that we're looking for setups on every day checked off. I'm gonna go ahead and add the US dollar, Canadian dollar there. And if you scroll down further, double click on the Forex, uh, you can see the Australian dollar, US dollar, Euro, Australian dollar. Over here you have the New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen. Okay, if you click even lower, these are more exotic pairs. I don't include any of those. And then you also have over here, you have, I have my gold checked off under spot metals. And that's it, just look for the pairs that you're interested in trading. And you could always go back into there by clicking on symbols and adding or hiding any symbols you wish to trade. 
Now here's what we're gonna do. Now I'm gonna start with the Euro US dollar and I wanna open up a new chart, okay? I already have the two trend attached as my default. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that so we could all be on the same page, okay? Um, the first thing you wanna do, we're gonna set up eight hour charts here. You wanna go to the one hour time frame, okay? You wanna have a one hour partner chart for every eight hour chart you have. Then go over here to the indicator you added. Now when you're adding the indicators, very important, they go file, open data folder, okay? You have to choose MQL4 and then indicator folder. This is where you wanna put the indicators. This is where you wanna put both the true trend and the period converter, okay? Very simple, go into the first, the MQL4 folder and then go into the indicator folder. That's where they belong, then they'll show up here. I have them favorited, which is there right here for easy access. And the first thing I do before I add the true trend, I'm not adding that to the one hour time frame. I'm gonna go ahead and add the period converter. Okay, Double, right click that and click attach the chart. The first thing I want you to do is go under the common tab and very important under the common tab, click allow DLL imports. This will make sure that when you close and reopen MetaTrader 4, the charts continue updating in real time on the eight hour. And real simple, you have to do two things here under the inputs. Under inputs, you're gonna change the period multiplier to eight, right? What is one times eight? Eight, looking for the eight hour time frame. What happens if you wanted to make a chart for the 12 hour time frame? Put a 12 in there, okay? If you wanted to make a three minute time frame, instead of attaching this to the one hour, attach this to the one minute, and then put a period multiplier of three. We're focused here on the eight hour time frame. I'm gonna show you, put a period multiplier eight, and update interval, also include an eight. Match that here. If that was a 12 hour time frame, they both would match. Okay, that's all you need to do. But, before you go any further, very important trick right here. Make sure you go to charts, go to template, and save. All right? Write in H1 for, for the for one hour, and click save. Okay, now, now we're gonna add the eight hour time frame. How do we do that? Go to file, open offline. Look down for the eight hour time frame. Here I have the euro, US dollar, eight hour time frame. Double click it, it opened up. All right, that chart doesn't look nice, right? So what am I gonna do? Two things. Right now, first we're gonna focus on adding the true trend, and then I'll show you how I clean these charts up. So go ahead and right click on the true trend, attach it to the chart. Uh, one thing that I like to do is see this magenta color, go ahead and change it to steel blue. Under inputs, okay, this is the true trend BTC settings of 333 uh, period. Change that to 70. The trend CCI is 70 and the entry CCI is three. Add a three into there, click okay, okay? Now you see the two trend below. You might not see it if you added it to yours. Why? Go back to the one hour, okay? Turn off this green button, which has the chart update in real time. Turn that off, and then with your left arrow key pressed down, go back in time. Just hold it down and just go back. Just go down for a while. Look how long I'm gonna do it for. I'm going back so far about a month. I'm gonna go back to right about there. It's probably about two months or so, all right? And then you'll see the, the period add, okay? Now, before I save this eight hour chart, keep, keep stay with me here. Here's what I'm gonna do next. Click on this plus button, zoom in a little bit, zoom in again, all right? Even zoom in one more time, zoom out. Get a nice feel for your eyes. I do not like having the chart over here on the full right. I actually like it over here. All right, personal preference, just showing you what I like. Next, I want you to right click the charts and I want you to go down into properties. All right, so right click, go down to properties. All right, here's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna get rid of that grid. Press none. Where it says grid, change that to none, okay? For these bars that are up, I'm gonna change this. I like to change this also to this steel blue color. And for these bars down, you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you how I set it up. You might wanna change these two. 
but I want to show you exactly how I set this up. This bull candle, I want that to be green. I like this lime green color over here. And the bear candle, I want that to be a red, all right? Bears are red, all right? And then I'm gonna click OK. All right, that looks a lot better than before. All right, you can also do one other thing if you want. You could go back into this, right click it and go to the True Trends Properties. And then I'm gonna go here to the colors and you could go ahead and change this width and make this thicker. I probably have it set at four. All right, and I'm gonna change, and I'm gonna go ahead and change the entry CCI and make that thicker as well. That doesn't look good. Let's put all twos. I like that, that looks much better. Uh, what we're missing here though, Jordan, is I have these bars here. Go ahead and click this candle up here. There you go. Now I have those, the candles in here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more and this is what I like to trade off of right here. All right, and this is the view I like to use when trading on MetaTrader 4. I like this setup. I'm gonna go ahead back to charts. I'm gonna click template, save this template and I'm gonna choose eight hour, eight H. All right, now I have it saved. Now how do I set up another pair? Watch how easy this is. Pound US dollar, open a chart. Right click, open chart window, go to the one hour. Do not forget that, go to the one hour. You won't have this true trend below here as I do. Go, go to the, if you want that, if you want the true trend on any time frame you move to, go ahead and add the true trend to a chart. Right click it. All right, I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna do this very quick. I'm going to the trend CCI of 70, entry CCI of 30, colors. I do not want this here. I want this to be steel blue. And I know that this line needs to be a thickness, a width of two, as well as this one. Do I want the white two also? Sure. All right, click OK. I have right here my true trend. No matter what time frame I look at, it's there, right? Now, go back, click charts, template, and go to default. All right, save this template as the default. Now watch, I'm gonna close out that chart, open up a chart of the pound US dollar, right click chart window. There it is exactly as I set it up. No matter what time frame I change to, I have my true trend there. So go ahead and save a template as the default with the true trend attached. Now, uh, what else do we wanna do here? And you could go ahead and clean the chart up as, as we cleaned it up earlier before saving that template. Uh, I, I don't need this here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna load, I'm loading my H1 template, okay? So I go to template under charts, scroll down to H1 and click it, okay? By clicking that, I set up my period converter already. Look, go back into file, open offline, and then here's my pound US dollar, click on the eight hour, there it is. There's my eight hour updating in real time. Go to charts, template, and click on H8. Look at that, all set up. If you do not have your true trend showing below, go to the one hour time frame for the partner pair, turn off the green button of it updating in real time, press that left arrow key, and go back in time. Go back a couple of months to get enough bar periods. Okay, when you're finished, Hit the green button again, go back and you'll have your chart. I'll show you a chart that's new that I don't have that, so you can see how that works. US dollar, Canadian dollar, chart window. All right, boom. You don't have to remove this. I'm just gonna put charts, template, one H. You got this now, that's how quick it is. And I go to file, open offline. Here I go find my US dollar, Canadian dollar, eight hour time frame. You see it right there, double click it, all right. I'm gonna now go to chart, template, H8 for the eight hour. See that, that's probably what you're seeing. Oh, I do have it. If you didn't have it, just go back, get some history on those bars and they'll show up on the eight hour. Let me try one more pair with you today. Let's try the Euro uh, Australian dollar. 
open chart window. You wanna be on the one hour, make sure you're on the one hour. Go to charts, template, H1. Now I'm ready to go to file, open offline. Look for my Euro, Australian dollar. Here she is, eight hour, H8, double click it. Go to charts, template, H8. Boom, there it is. That's how it works, okay? This is how you set up your charts for the eight hour time frame. Uh, that way when you're placing orders on MetaTrader 4, it's a lot easier. I'm going to continue doing all of my uh, analysis using TradingView because it's really easy and the charts flow and it's, it's fantastic. But I do place orders as well on my MetaTrader and this is how I set up the charts for the 8-hour. I hope this tutorial was really helpful for you. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and take a moment right now. Hit that subscribe button. Join us. Join us either for the live streams or join us for the replays, spending 20 minutes a day, a half hour a day watching the first half hour of the video will get you up to date with everything you need to know for all the trades for the upcoming sessions and day and keep you in the flow of the market. Uh, if you haven't hit that like button for this video, go ahead and show your support for the channel. Please go ahead and do that. Just a word of note, I wanna be very clear and upfront. If you go ahead and you do decide that you wanna use FX Choice uh, as your broker and you use this link right here, this is an affiliate link. This does help support the channel. It doesn't cost you any further commission or money whatsoever, it's the same. But I just wanna be clear about that and here, go ahead you have the link to go ahead and subscribe to the channel itself right here. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you were able to learn something new. If you have any questions, please comment them below on this video so that if you're asking a question, other people are asking the same question and we could go ahead and help everyone together. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you soon.